round of Division I state playoffs here at Chino Hills High School. Tonight we have the number 10 seed San Marcos Knights against the number 2 seed Chino Hills Huskies. The Huskies did play just a couple days ago and they beat Ballard 83-67. to Head coach Steve Big did make the comment that come Saturday they're going to be playing very good teams and that tonight was going to be a tough one. San Marcos also won just a couple days ago. They beat JW North 60-57. to Tom Kiss has more for us at half court. Thanks Courtney. You know, tonight Chino Hills opponent, San Marcos, comes in with only three losses in the season. They're led by their three big three, Johnny McWilliams, Jason Simran, and Nikola Zikovic. Those three guys will be leading them in a guard-heavy lineup for San Marcos. As far as Chino Hills goes, Leangelo Ball, Lonzo Ball, they're always going to get their points. But the question is, will the other three guys behind them score as well? Raul Millen, he could hit threes, as well as Andre Ball, a cousin of Lonzo and Leangelo, as well as a newcomer, freshman, Cameron Shelton. If you want to get to the next round, which would be the semifinals, those guys are going to need to score points. Courtney, back to you. Thanks, Tom. The Huskies did play here just a couple days ago, and their gym wasn't as full as it usually is, which explains the tweets that have been going on by students, encouraging everyone to come to tonight's game and support their team. But for now, we have the highlights and interviews coming your way. Chino Hills would start sloppy in this game. Turnover by Raw Million, taken by number 12, Stefan Zikovic, who lays it in. After the basket, the turnover leads to this easy lay-in by Josh Ramirez. Then Nikola Zikovic, the brother, gets it down low and scores. Another Chino Hills turnover, and San Marcos goes inside to Nikola, and he scores once again. Huskies always looking for Lonzo Ball. It's this jumper. San Marcos was on fire early, and when Josh Ramirez hits this three, they're up 16 to six. Angelo then dishes to Andre Ball to break the San Marcos run. For the Chino Hills defense, it leads to offense. Lonzo Ball, steal, throw down. Johnny McWilliams for San Marcos. Their leading scorer on the night hits this one. They're up 19-13. Raul Million finds Leangelo Ball. His three is going to cut the lead to 21-16. Then Million with another steal and a great move to finish off the quarter. 21-19, San Marcos was up. Second quarter action. Lonzo to Million. He hits this three on his way to 13 on the night. Then Lonzo Ball. Gets, misses the short jumper, gets his own rebound, gets a third chance, and he finally converts it. Then on defense, quick hands leads to a steal, and he would put this two-hander away. Lonzo gets it out to his brother, Jello, and he's going to hit the three. Lorenzo, next time down, he's going to say, I can do that too, brother. Three-pointer, a 20-5 to run in the second quarter for Chino Hills. Another steal by Alonzo here. He gets it over to his brother, Leangelo, and they play catch. One-handed jam on that one. Scary moment here. Looks like a rat average play, but Jared Neve hits his shoulder, dislocates it. He had no points. He would return in the second half. Jordan Thorpe is going to get this rebound. Gets an assist on an acrobatic move by Alonzo Ball. Then going inside, Johnny McWilliams, their leading scorer. And Mikey Howell, he gets one too. 43-35, end of the half. Lonzo with another steal. Leads to the break. Raw Millions going to finish it on the other end. And McWilliams is going to get the ball. He's going to miss the runner. But Stefan Vikovic is there, and he's going to lay that one in. Lonzo, out to Leangelo. Gets it inside, misses the first one, gets it on the second one. Then Big Brother comes in and says, come on. And Little Brother says, oh, nope. Tries to fire him up. He says, I got this. Little love there, brotherly love on the bench. Then Lonzo Ball to his brother. He lays it in. 
54-42. Man, Lonzo on the break once again. Acrobatic move right down the middle. They had to call a timeout. Chino Hill's rolling at this point. Ben Lonzo with the miss. Jared Neve back in the game after the shoulder was hurt. Knocks his home guy down. Goes to the line and one. Then Nicola's going to get this pass. Once again, knocking it around. Neve is going to take this right to the basket. Another one. Finished with 10 in the second half. Nikola Zikovic right here. Gets the ball inside. He gets fouled. Then, Lonzo trying to do a little bit too much. Leads to this slam on the other men by Jason Simmons. Fourth quarter action. 60-50. Chino Hills up at this point. Lonzo with the drive. Misses it, but gets his own rebound. Then, once again, on the break, he dishes the jello. He hits a three once again, and they could sense it. They would outscore San Marcos in the fourth quarter, 22-13. to 13. Lonzo starts another break with two more on this lay-in. Jello is going to drive. Misses the lay-in, but Jared Neve once again there with an offensive rebound. Then Nikola is going to get this rebound. Vikovic right inside. He's going to take it to the hole. Actually, that's Stefan, the brother. Then McWilliams going for the lay-in. He's going to get two more on there. He had 14 to lead the Knights. Then Millian gets over Alonzo Ball. He's going to take it to the hole. Beaten two. Three defenders. Acrobatic move on the reverse lay-in. Then back to the long passes. For a weary San Marcos defense, Jello is going to lay that in. Then San Marcos trying to hit the three. Over to Jello, over to Lonzo, and that ends it. Was 82 63 Chino Hills with the win. We're able to see the victorious head coach, Steve Faye. Now, your team started off kind of slow in the beginning. What changed? At one point, you were down 16 to 6. Yeah, I mean, I, I just knew that we needed to settle in and start doing the things that we had planned. You know, they got off to a great start because we just, I think, gave them those opportunities, like, you know, just dumb decisions. And uh, we just weren't, you know, focused in the beginning. And that kind of woke us up. and we kind of got into gear after that. Now, when I spoke with you the other day, you told me come Saturday you were going to be playing good teams and that tonight would be tough. Do yeah. you think that happened? Oh, yeah. I think San Marcos is, you know, a great, you know, team, well coached. They're tough. They got some talented players. And so it's just going to get better and better, you know, with each round. Looking forward, you advance to the regional semifinals. You will be facing Torrey Pines Tuesday night home. What can we expect from the Huskies? I hope mental toughness. I just hope mental toughness. And I know we're going to play hard. I just need these guys to, you know, uh, be mentally tough and uh, play smart. Definitely a tough loss tonight for San Marcos. We talked to head coach Dante Carey. So you guys start off with a quick start tonight. What changed throughout the next three quarters? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm still shocked with it. Uh, that's a good team. It's a very good team. Um, they have a couple of really talented guys that can really play. Um, I thought we got out to what we practiced. We got out of what we did, um, moving the ball and being aggressive and attacking. Like we did at the beginning, we were attacking the gaps, um, and I thought we got away from that. Now, obviously, this is not how you wanted to end your season. What did you tell the guys going into the locker room at the end of the game tonight? You know what? I, I thought we played very hard. I think we played smart all the time, but I thought we played hard. Um, and that's all you know. I can ask for is have your team play really hard to go out that way against a very good team, a well-coached team. Leading his team to victory tonight was junior Lonzo Ball. He had 34 points. I was able to speak with him after the game. Talk to me about this moment right now. Uh, it's a great feeling, but like I said, uh, we got some unfinished business and we got to keep going forward. Now you guys did start off slow. What was the game changer come in the second quarter? Uh, defense. We knew they were going to come out and give us the uh, best quarter, the first quarter. That's what they have to do. They're away. And uh, we withstand it and then we just took off from there. Now when I talked to you the other day after your win, you did tell me that you guys need to play together. You're one team and you win together. Did your team do that tonight? Uh, yeah. Obviously not the first quarter, but uh, after that we picked it up. We're a family and uh, we play like that. Moving forward, next up, Torrey Pines. What can we expect from the Huskies? A win. So we need to get the job done and just get the win. Okay.
Congratulations. Senior Jared Nevy had 10 points all in the second half. I was able to speak with him after the game. Congratulations. Your team is now going to regional semifinals. You're taking on Torrey Pines. What are we? What can we expect from the Huskies? Just to, to come out hard, just like we always do. Try to get easy points, get easy transition layups and a wide open threes and just keep on pushing the ball. What was your mindset coming into tonight's game? Well, I, I'm a senior, so I want this to be my last game before I go to college. So I was trying to go as hard as I can. Even though I got hurt, I just tried to keep on playing. Now, you did leave hurt. What happened to you? Did you dislocate your shoulder? Yeah, I dislocated my shoulder a little bit. Okay yeah, I'm good. All right. All right. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Sophomore Leangelo Ball had 23 points tonight. I was able to speak with him after the game. Talk to me about this moment right now, winning the second round. And right now we're just going to use this energy. Um, it's a good win, but we're going to use the energy to carry on to the next game and play the same way. Now you guys do advance to regional semifinals. You will be taking on Torrey Pines. What can we expect from the Huskies? Well, um, we're just going to come out hard and try to set the tone again. Um, we just got to put the points up, play good D, and we'll get the W. Raul Million had 13 points. I was able to speak with him after the game. First off, congratulations, Raul. Walk me through everything going through your mind right now. Uh, you know, it's a great experience right now, you know, going through uh, the second round. Uh, hopefully we get through the next game. You know, we're taking a game by game. You know, hopefully we go to the championship round. And, you know, we got upset against modern day. So, you know, hopefully we can win this state championship, you know, redeem ourselves. The final score of tonight's game was 82-63. Chino Hills with the win. They will advance to regional semifinals next Tuesday night against Torrey Pines, and it will be a home game. From Chino Hills High School, I'm Courtney Pons for the Tribune Sports.